Good morning. So for the third week in a row, don't judge me. We are at the garden shed for brunch. Christmas tree is up. Technically, this is going to be what are we calling it? Our work Christmas party. Yeah. Through the feast today, I've got an almond maple iced coffee, and Doug's got the same one with regular milk. We have pancakes, bacon, frosty. Um, and Doug's got eggs Benny over there. Yum! So today is infinitely better than Christmas. And we are at the airport and I am going to pick up my mum and dad who have been living overseas for the last three and a half years. I'm so excited that they're home. Hey! So you would have seen my mum and dad arriving at the airport last night. We picked them up. Um, I only filmed it a little bit because basically I started crying after that. But yay, they're back. They have moved back home, which is very, very exciting. So we're at um, Circus Circus for breakfast with my family. Breakfast looks amazing. Mushrooms. Dad has smoked cup wine, eggs benedict, and Doug, I'm gonna leave you, but Doug show you this. Hey, so it is Monday. My parents have just left to head up north. Um, this morning we went out for breakfast, which you would have seen at Circus Circus. Um, and then we took them shopping to get things like sheets and towels and you know, all that stuff for when you're setting up a house. Basically, they are setting up their lives again back here got to get a whole bunch of new stuff good morning it is Tuesday and I've just been to have some waxing done um, and got my brows done did you can see a little bit of tint left on there which I'll have to remove when I get home but look at how lush my lashes are looking how far can I zoom into my eye I've got quite long lashes and I've been using Revital Lash to thicken them up a little bit. Um, but they're quite fair on the ends so I got them tinted so that you can see how long and lush they are. Um, it's very very hot sitting in the car. So I'm going to skedaddle back home and see what other work I need to do today. Tonight is date night. Doug and I are going to a preview screening of Pitch Perfect 3. Are you excited? Yep. Did you like the first one and the second one? Yep. Yep. We're very excited. We're so excited that we're here like an hour early. Hey guys, it is Megan from the future. I just wanted to let you know while I was editing, I got an email from the team who are doing PR for Pitch Perfect and there's an embargo on reviews until next week. So I'm actually not allowed to tell you yet what I thought of the film or give you any kind of detailed feedback about it. I do have some feelings that I would like to share about it. So stay tuned for that next week. I will make sure that I insert it in next week's vlog um, and you will probably be able to see me on social media talking about it as well. This is probably not my best angle to be honest. I should probably sit up if I'm going to vlog. That's better. I just wanted to say hello because it is almost 5 o'clock and I have not picked the camera up at all today. Um, I had appointments this morning, they were not very exciting ones to film, and actually I couldn't film in them anyway. Um, and then this afternoon I have been filming clothing hauls, so not a whole lot to show you there either. Um, my job during the week actually really isn't that exciting, a lot of it involves admin. Um, I know a lot of people think that all I do is go to fun events, but really most of it is behind the scenes work and planning and emails and that kind of thing. Um, so now I'm going to go and edit the clothing hauls that I filmed today. I'm waiting for Doug to get home. He is at Soundcheck for Cat Stevens shooting some photos and then tonight I think we're going to have dinner, have a quiet night. Um, it's been a very full on week so very very keen for a quiet night. 
Um, I did just want to show you my fancy sweater, which is from Eloquy. Look at those sleeves. So cute. I didn't think I'd have a chance to wear this for quite some time, but we got a little bit of cold weather. So I'm making the most of it. Even if that means I can only wear it for like a couple of hours, I'm going to wear it anyway. Um, it is a super cute sweater and you're, by the time this vlog goes up, I think my Eloquy haul will be up already, so you will be able to see it there. Um, oh, and my lipstick is True Love from Karen Morrell. I really like their lipsticks. They have really good staying power. I've been wearing this for quite some time and filmed quite a lot of stuff of me talking and not on my teeth or anything. Very impressed. Good morning afternoon yes yeah, afternoon it is thursday we have been to the gym this morning and i am just about to hang out washing so mm, look at my lovely hair today no not so lovely anyway i'm i'm doing some laundry gonna go hang that out um it's really sunny today it's really nice we put an uh we changed our skylight so we get lots of sun in our bathroom now. There's no windows, just a skylight. But look at it. Whoa! Look at how bright it is. Yeah, sunny. It's a beautiful day. Let's step back into the shadows though. Um, so yeah, not we're not really up to home a lot today. Just, you know, pottering around, working that stuff. I think Doug is out shooting a concert tonight but I can't for the life of me remember who it is. It's probably somebody cool that I have never heard of. My hair is looking amazing as per usual. Um, just had Korea turn up with an amazing, amazing parcel. Check this out. I haven't even opened it yet but it looks really epic it's from my friends at the warehouse who you know I work with quite often some cute things in here let's open it up okay so I've taken the plastic off and this is the most epic Christmas hamper ever so there is a vanilla bean scented candle Oh my god, I don't know where to start. It would not be Christmas without some Rose's chocolates. Which I can see Doug is already eyeing up. <laughs> Might need a hand taking these out, babe. Some playing cards, which are very important at Christmas. Gonna be spending a lot of time with family. Good stocking stuffer as well. Ooh. Destroy. Okay. This is a rugby ball soap on a rope. Also a very good stocking stuffer. What else is there, Doug? Some kind of body lotion soapy thing. Oh, it's rose scented. Oh, Moonlight Peony. I love peonies, they're my fave. That looks lovely. Oh, this, so this is Doug's favorite thing out of the whole thing. Michael Bublé Christmas album. Can't wait to put that on. I might have to go out. <laughs> a photo frame for all those Christmas memories. Some jandals, which are definitely not Doug's size. They must be for me. Those are cute. A sampler tin. Now who grew up in a house that didn't have a sampler tin at Christmas? Always a good present if, like, keep it on hand for if you have any unexpected guests. And it's got all your classic faves. Sadly, not gluten free, but I know the rest of my family will love it. The Lynx Pack. It's a classic, pretty sure every teenage boy received one of these at some point. And you can't go past Scorched Almonds. I have a feeling we're going to have to save those to eat with my dad because I'm pretty sure I gave him scorched almonds every Christmas. Thanks so much to the team at the warehouse for sending that over. Some cool things that I'm going to use maybe as stocking stuffers. 
I know that the biscuits and the chocolates will go down very, very well at Christmas this year. So Doug is home from his gig. It turns out he was at Yellow Wolf. I don't really know who that is. As I said, I am not young enough or cool enough to know about most of the music gigs he goes to. Anyway, I've decided that I'm going to have a bath. So I thought I'd come into my office and have a wee rummage to see what bath bombs and stuff that I have. Bath milk. Uh, this is obviously a leftover from Father's Day one. I don't keep any of the stuff in my bathroom just because it's so humid it melts. Oh, I could try jelly bomb. I don't know if I feel like that right now though. Um, that is that is my scrub. I don't need to take that in right now. Hmm. Oh, there we go. A lot of misrule. Let's use that one. So my bath already smells amazing. In case you're wondering why it's pink, it's because I put this in it. It's not really a like a bubble bath, but I put it in anyway because it's so thick that I find it really hard to use as a shower cream. So I thought I'd just add it to my bath. But now it is time for bath bomb. I really hope this is a really good combination. So it looks like it's made of darker, but it's kind of just fizzing under the surface. So I'm gonna get it in anyway. So I'm gonna sit in the bath and watch some vlogs on my phone I'm really behind in watching other people's vlogmas so it's gonna be me. Good morning it is Saturday and well let me give you an idea of how my morning is going so far. So I went to grab my bag so I could grab out my glasses because I'm gonna start work soon um, and I haven't actually been into this bag for a little while because I have two other pairs of glasses so I usually wear them but these ones were closest. Anyway I open up my bag and it's full of seeds, which might seem a bit random, but I had a se two seed packets in there, so that's why there's that's why there's a lot of seeds. Anyway, one of the packets had opened, and now there's tiny little seeds all through my bag. So I've just had to take everything out. Um, so yeah, yep, all through my bag. Okay, so I've emptied everything out. I have cleaned out all of the lettuce seeds into my garden, so who knows, maybe they will grow. And I thought I'd show you a real life look of what is in my bag. Once I've cleaned out the receipts though, because no one needs that many receipts. I don't even know how they all end up in there. I do a lot of my shopping online, so I don't know why I end up with physical receipts. Who knows? So I feel like I'm probably not the only one who's, the inside of the bag looks like this once you've cleaned out the receipts. Um, I do still have one that is the receipt from when I did the change of ownership for my car so that's important I actually need to put that in a place to keep it safe. I've got my wallet, I've got one, two, three hair ties, which is great because I can never find hair ties. Um, apparently I have a box of tampons has exploded in my bag as well three pens because a girl can never be too prepared and after all I am a writer um four different lip products I think I just kind of shove in whatever I've been using at the time this is west coast sunset from antipodes it's a really nice orangey shade I really love that one um one of my favorite lip balms the Haroo black cherry it's one of my all-time faves. I've been using it since I first went cruelty free and I freaking love it. It's got a slight tint to it. Um, this combo, if I'm feeling a little bit fancier, the Burt's Bees um, Lip Crayon and Tinted Lip Balm. They look awesome together. Um, I also have a concealer in my bag. I think this is a concealer. Yeah. I don't know why that's in my bag. I think I might have just kind of shoved it in there once I finished using it but it is a nude by nature one um, and some medication 
good times. Um, that's one of my migraine meds, so I just keep that in there in case I need it. And of course, the glasses that I was looking for. The Kylie Minogue ones. And they're from Specsavers. I really like them. And that's what they look like on me. So I know my vlog has been fairly boring this week. Um, but I just wanted to share a couple of exciting things with you. First of all, this is what I've been working on this evening. So I'm sure you've all seen this before, but this is my blog. Um, today I've been drawing some of the 12 Days of Christmas winners, which is super, super exciting for me. I love being able to partner with some of the brands that I work with and give away cool stuff to you guys. So these are our winners. We've got one giveaway that's still open. This P Peter Alexander pajama set one. Um, so make sure you enter that if you haven't already. And it's been super exciting to hear back from everybody who's like, yeah, I was the winner. I just, I really love being able to surprise people with cool things like that. So this is one of my favorite things about being a blogger um, and getting to give away cool stuff like that. Um, now I'm going to chill out because I haven't really had any chill out time today and I'm going to play Harry Potter Lego which I normally play with Doug but I've started a game by myself because he goes out and sometimes I just want to play by myself so that I get to be the main character. So yeah um, and that's probably going to be me for the rest of the night. I'm going to try not to do any more work today even though I do have a little bit to do. Save it for tomorrow because I just need to just need to chill for now. Um, but I do need to edit this vlog so I will say goodbye and I will catch you next time. I hope you have an amazing week and I think the next vlog will be up. Oh, the next vlog will be right before Christmas, right after I go away. Exciting! I can't wait. I'm going home to see my family. Very, very, very excited. Anyway, I will um, I will catch you next week. Hope you have an amazing week. And I will see you soon. Bye.